The members of Bad Religion haven't been shy about their political beliefs. For 20-plus years, the Los Angeles-based punk rockers have been taking stances on religion and politics. Bad Religion is touring with the Vans Warped Tour in support of its 13th studio album, The Empire Strikes First. You're listening to Los Angeles is Burning, and that is where we head now. Uh, Brett Gerwitz, guitarist, and Jay Bentley, bassist for Bad Religion, join us now. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having us, David. Uh, it, it seems like a very topical album. Let's start with that uh, that song right there, Los Angeles is Burning. What's it about? Um, <clears throat> LA is Burning is about um, uh, the media and uh, its portrayal of reality. <clears throat> and uh, it's basically questioning whether uh, reality television reflects reality or, in a sense, creates it. Yeah, indeed. Uh, you mean pointing more toward that genre of TV that's become so popular? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> reality television? Yeah. Reality television and news <laughs> networks <laughs> as well. Well, uh, that, that's my point. I guess it, is, is this more about what we're seeing in prime time, maybe with uh, Paris Hilton and her friend Nicole Richie, or, or is it more about the, the various uh, old news networks that are out there? I think it's a comment on the whole thing, but in a sense, you know, the uh, embedded journalist in Iraq is a, a new form of reality television. Yeah, indeed. Uh, what is it that inspires you guys musically? We talk about the, the many albums uh, that you all have out, and with this one, uh, The Empire Strikes First, how is it different creatively on the music side of things? Well, we have a lot to talk about now, just uh, since uh, the events of 2001. Every day that you wake up, there's something that human beings will do that give you uh, a, a plethora of, of issues to discuss. And when you're writing music, uh, and lyrics, it, it, choosing things that, that you question as uh, part of a society, it gives, you, uh, it, it gives you volumes to speak about. So as long as people wake up and do things, we'll, we'll keep talking about them. Uh, the title track, The Empire Strikes First, uh, the lyrics go as such, we strike first and we're unrehearsed, here we go again, the stage uh, to stage the greatest show on heaven and earth. This scene feels like, to me as I read it, uh, obviously an Iraq reference, no? Yeah, I mean, really what that, that whole song is a comment on the Bush doctrine of preemption. And, uh, I mean, of course it's obvious that uh, Bad Religion as, as a group opposes the Iraq war. But I think the, the larger issue is that uh, uh, somehow the threshold for going to war has been set far too low. Uh, going to work is the gravest decision uh, uh, the man can make, and uh, it's hard to think of yourself as the good guy uh, when you're the guy out there who goes out and hits first. You guys always been political? Yeah, since 1982. 1982, uh, which of course yeah. it was the start of the Reagan era, and we just got done with a whole week's worth of Reagan programming. What were your thoughts on the passing of that president? Uh, well, you know. Uh, of course, it's never uh, good to politicize uh, the death of anybody. Um, but I do think that mainstream media paid far too much attention uh, to Reagan and really uh, glossed over uh, some of his uh, uh, some of the his real legacy. Um, and once again, you know, the the progressive media and, and the dissenters got short shrift. Does um, has the band and, and Jay? Maybe you can answer this. Uh, you, you talked earlier about how Bad Religion w was against certain things. Has the band uh, ever been uh, supportive of, of political causes? I don't think so until now. I don't think we've really had a collective uh, political agenda until right now, where we've we've all uh, looked at each other when this album uh, was being made in the studio. When we decided to call it The Empire Strikes First, we all collectively said. Uh, this will be the time when we all say uh, something has to change. And uh, whether it's our involvement in punkvoter.com or everything that we're doing on the Warp Tour and the tour following that, uh, we're going to take a political stand this year, which is something we really haven't done to this level before. You know, we've always believed in music as a, a force for social change, and we've always been outspoken, but we've never really been this topical. We've never really been so... Um, uh, explicit in our views uh, well, about uh, you know current events per well, se. We appreciate you guys stopping by. I wanted to tell you that my favorite song in there is Live Again, but I wanted to hear what it was about, but we don't have the time, but I appreciate you guys uh, stopping by. Uh, thanks, thanks so much David. for having us, and it's about suicide bombers. All right, thank you. Bad religion. Uh, Jay Bentley <laughs> and Brett Gerwitz joining us today right. from Los Angeles. We're out of time for today. Tomorrow, Grammy Award winner John Mayer. Have a great day. Rise, rise. Rise.
something true.